new portal target that we haven't talked about in this cycle, Mongolian Mike. Uh, do you have any idea how to pronounce Mike's last name? Uh, Shara, Sharavitas, Shara, Shara Jats. There's no I there, so it's not Sharavitas. Shara, Sharavs. Sharav Jams? Sharav Jams. Sheriff Jamps. I don't yeah. know. I, Mongolian it, Mike, man. That's his name. It's it's such a good nickname. Uh, Mongolian Mike, one of the more polarizing college basketball players in the last few seasons. He started his career at Dayton where he didn't do anything crazy. I mean, he started 20 games out of 32 as a freshman on a pretty good Dayton team, scored five points a game, three assists a game. Mongolian Mike is a 6'8 forward. So, like, the, the whole concept of what he does on a basketball court is very unique. He's a really good passer for how tall he is and the position he plays on the wing. Um, he's an okay shooter, like career 34% from three. He left Dayton after a year to play at San Francisco in the WCC. And a lot of people expected like a breakout year at San Francisco. It didn't really happen. He started 34 games there. He averaged eight points, three rebounds, three assists. He was more efficient, 42% from the floor, 36% from three, shot it well from the free throw line. So, like, there's a lot to like here in theory, and I think there's, like, not anything to like in substance, and I don't really know how to square that. But uh, the reason we're talking about him today is that per friend of the show, Jeff Borzello, Mongolian Mike is down to St. Mary's, Illinois, and Utah. Illinois is after Mongolian Mike all of a sudden what what is happening well it, the, the good part about this is Illinois being on the list gives me a good chance to make the the pretty easy comparison here um this is what Illinois fans think Coleman is when they're getting mad at what he's doing like this is Coleman Hawkins at 25 percent of what Coleman does um he's to me Mongolian Mike is kind of just it, he's always like, what is, like, what is he, what is he, what is he, what is he? And he he was supposed to have a breakout last year at San Francisco. I just don't really see it with this kid, to be honest with you. I think it's a lot more like just hoping and wishing, but no one's really ready to just have the conversation that he just might be like, this kind of might just be what he is. I mean, there was, he, he actually entered the draft after his freshman year of Dayton and there was like serious buzz, like, Gavoni loved him and all this stuff. And like people were thinking like he actually might stay in the draft and get drafted, not in like first round or anything. But then he goes to San Francisco. People expect him to break out. People, ex you know, were saying great things about it. like, oh, yeah, San Francisco got a good one. Like this should be really good. And in the games that I watched him at San Francisco, I thought that he was, you know, pretty frail, soft, um, didn't really impact games, even when he was did have some pretty solid stat games. I, I saw him just kind of getting lost in the mix a lot. Um, so like the best way to compare his game to me legit is like, if is like 25% of what Coleman Hawkins does. He's a combine warrior type to me. Maybe without, um, maybe without the defense too. So like 10% of Coleman Hawkins, like, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, see. It. I just, I, I refer to him as like a combine warrior, which isn't even to say like, he's going to do great at the combine or anything, but like, it's one of those guys where, uh, to me, NBA people are like the radar prospect talk is like way higher on this guy than anyone who actually watches him play college basketball. And I don't know if that was ever true with Coleman because I think Coleman flirted with the draft but kind of kept returning because it seemed like there wasn't the, the next step opportunity yet. Now, Coleman can get drafted this year. He will get drafted this year. I don't think Mongolian Mike will get drafted this year or maybe ever. Uh, for the record... <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying at this as you just literally mid rant from you on that. The one and only Coleman Hawkins has weighed in on Mongolia. Mike Coleman Hawkins just tweeted right now and said, former teammate of Coleman Hawkins at prolific prep per source. He's very good and is an elite passer. So that's going on here. Like my initial read on this, just to be honest, my initial read on this, was that Mongolian Mike was listing Illinois to use them for leverage and that he was either trying to get more money, realistically more money for um, Utah, right? Because I don't, I don't think St. Mary's is out dropping bags. I think Utah will pay for transfers. And that was my read. My read was Mike was trying to get more money from Utah and he's listing Illinois to do so. 
Uh, no, the fact that Jeremy Werner and Coleman Hawkins are both interacting with Borzello's report very quickly, I think this interest from Illinois is real. Why? Uh, why do I think it's real? No, why? Why is it real? I need you to tell me why it's real. Well, why does it, why, like why does why does Illinois want this dude? Carter, you missed the conversation. It's probably a good thing you missed the conversation this morning. Brian Ralph and I just did a deep dive on the rumor that Igor Demon has been offered $2 million to attend BYU. And in that conversation, we had about 20 minutes of dialogue about what has actually happened with Illinois this offseason. And I mentioned the fact that their alpha wing scorer plan seemed to be, let's pay for AJ Store. And then they got outbid for AJ Store. And then it was, okay, let's pay for Kadari Richmond. And then they got outbid for Kadari Richmond. And then it was, okay, let's wait for David Jones. And then David Jones didn't hit the portal. And then it was, okay, let's pay Igor Demon. And then Igor Demon was outbid again by BYU. So I have a lot of problems with the way this has been approached because you and I have been told for months now that Illinois is great on the NIL front. Illinois has more money than every Big Ten school that's not Indiana. I believe that to be true. I think they paid a lot of people already to get them to Illinois. Kylan Boswell and Trey White and Hum Rickhouse and uh, Tom Avisich. Like They've got good players. Don't get me wrong. I don't think Illinois has the money for the alpha wing that they needed anymore. Based on the going rates of the best players in the portal, if you believe these reports, Illinois is getting outbid for every superstar they try to get. And to me, that's that's an allocation issue. They probably shouldn't have spent some money on the role players in the beginning of April when they still need a superstar. Because I can promise you they'd rather throw $2 million at Igor right now than they would else where whatever whatever other option there is but to me that that's why they'd be interested in mongolia mike is he's cheap yeah but like you to be honest with you like if you're doing like a project thing you have booth in the fold like why do you want to bring mongolia mike in the fold too like i just he's cheap it, I, so so there's a lot of cheap things you don't gotta buy them you gotta buy something right <laughs> there's gotta be something else i check the other shelves check the clearance section there's gotta be something. it's like a tj maxx like you think you went through all the clothes but there's gotta be something else in there that you maybe brushed over because the shirts got stuck together or something can i make the holy shit hey hail mary play save the day play here yes let's just say hypothetically i'm gonna use a, a fake number here let's say hypothetically Illinois has $1.5 million left to spend. That's what I believe would be the, the highest individual offer they would make, or maybe that's what they have in total. Let's say Illinois has $1.5 million left to spend. Throw 1.2 of that at Coleman, throw 300000 at Mongolia and Mike, reunite the teammates. Isn't that an added boost? The, the, I'm still very confused on what Coleman's interaction is with Illinois. He says he's not going back to Illinois. He says he hasn't talked to Brad. My response to that is, why? Why? Why isn't Brad calling Coleman daily right now telling him to come back? I don't know. I don't get it. He should be, in my opinion. You've struck out on every single wing there is, and you were going to pay Marcus Damas to come back. Hey, Coleman. Hey, him. Beg him back. Like, they can't. They can't. They they, they, money? they they mismanaged their money here. They they did. They they it's 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 money mismanagement. Like you can have a lot of money, and there's a lot of things you can go like wrong with in the portal. It can be money mismanagement, it could be overpaying for players, it could be paying for the wrong players, it could be not being able to pay for players. This seems to be like they have the money, that's great. Allocation of this money, what is what is being purchased, basically. And it feels even weird saying this, what players are being purchased. It, I, I think like they might've jumped the gun a little bit here and they're probably kicking themselves. And this is like panic mode. Do you think Mongolian Mike playing at Illinois would convince Coleman to come with him potentially? Is there any connection there? No, I think there's a chance. I think Coleman might look at Illinois and be like, I kind of want to go back to play with my boy. Kind of zero. zero is a Coleman Mongolian Mike front court. Good. No. <laughs> Are we sure? Yes. <laughs> It's like 1.25 Coleman's. I, I literally think that Mongolian Mike would not. If they got him, I don't think he would really even play that much. 
which I guess I which I guess is like okay, get a body, but like where where are Mongolian Mike's minutes coming in? I think there's a lot of minutes available, man. I, I don't think I'm, I I think there's a other people get like I'm thinking about players that are getting minutes over him, like I'm Rick House minutes over him. I would give Booth my his minutes over him. Mike's, I would give Trey would, White minutes would, over him. Mike would play more two three. I think Mike would play more than Trey White to me. We'll play. I would play Trey White more than Mongolian Mike. Maybe we got to see. I don't know, but I I don't think it would hurt to have two options. Should just kept Dane, man. Uh, does Mike have a committable offer to Illinois right now? Yes or no? No. You th- you still think it's like being used? I refuse. I just refuse to believe that this is the option. I think he does have a committable offer to Illinois. I think there's a very real world where he ends up at Illinois. I'm okay. Gonna- uh, all right. Flip side, glass half full. Let me stop being negative. If he's like super duper cheap, like dirt cheap for the free damn near, take him. Well, here's here's my pivot. I don't think Illinois is going to get him because I think they're going to get outbid again. That's fine. I think, I that's, think that's I think that's where we've reached here. That's a win. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, good luck. Good luck, Mongolian Mike, who can do a lot of things. 25% of Coleman Hawkins is like a pretty big compliment from us, honestly. Thank you for watching the Sleepers channel, which is brought to you by my bookie. Cart, could you please tell the listeners about my bookie? If you need the best sports book, the official sports book of Sleepers Media, my bookie, it is the only place where they give you the opportunity to play your way and get paid easily. They have absolutely everything you need. Anything that you need betting wise, my bookie is equipped with it. And right now we have a first deposit bonus of up to $1,000 by using promo code sleepers. That's promo code sleepers over at my bookie. Uh, instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars greg that means you put a thousand in there you get a thousand free dollars to bet i don't know if there's a better deal than that out there so head over to my bookie right now it's the official sports book we use my bookie on a daily basis trust me and it is working out perfectly for us so go ahead and get with the wave head over to my bookie the official sports book of sleepers media yeah i love bonus dollars that's what I love. And my bookie has a great offer for you right now. Go take advantage. Link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.